Take three, we back, must be me, it's your boy, we at it again, listen, working on this camera, getting it together, y'all, listen, we've talked about verbiage, we've talked about relationships, one thing we really haven't touched on is fear, something that will hold you back, something that may scare you, something that may stagnate you, but fear, the acronym for fear is false evidence appearing real, listen, when you sit back and look at yourself, and look at your life, you'll realize that there's a lot of things that may have stagnated you that you may have been fearful of. The thing is, they're not supposed to scare you. Those are just lessons learned. People will be like, well, he failed. He did it. He didn't, he didn't successful. She did it. She didn't make it, but it's not about them. And see, the book is called Must Be Me because it's about you and your success. You can't equate your quality or your quantify yourself by what somebody else does. You can't say, I'm not going to make it because they didn't make it. I'm not going to grow because they didn't grow. I'm not going to get in shape because they tried it and then it worked for them. They was eating all good and stuff. And all of a sudden, they still was, didn't, didn't, didn't get in shape like that. But you don't know what they didn't do. See, you're seeing the outside. You didn't see the internal. It's like me, personally. I get up and go to the gym all the time. But I got a sweet tooth. See, I, I enjoy cakes, cookies, and pies. See, to me, that's the Lord's work. That's a gift from God. And I know I shouldn't eat them every day, but I do. That's the reason I have a hard time getting in shape like I want to be. I'm in better shape than what I was, but I'm not where I need to be because of things that I'm doing. So don't I don't look at what somebody else didn't do. I look at what I'm doing wrong to become who I need to be. So with you... To get where you need to be, you got to focus on you. You got to focus on yourself. You got to get to where you need to be. That's why the book is called Must Be Me because it's to help you help you. That's what I'm here for. I want to help you help you. Now, let's get back on track. Don't be scared. You can see somebody get right to the apex of the mountain and you think they didn't make it, but the problem was they may have wanted to reach the top. They may have got right to the place that they wanted to be at and that's not the place you want to be. You can't equate your success on how far someone else goes. You can only equate your success on how far you go. So what type of work are you going to put in? What type of lessons are you going to teach yourself? How are you going to prepare for this? Are you going to get up extra early to go grind? Are you going to go look for these jobs? Are you going to drop off resumes? Are you going to start advertising and socializing yourself with people in a different, in a different area, a different genre? Like I said in the last one, if I'm the smartest person in the room, I'm in the wrong room. I need to go to a room where people who already have things that I don't have so I can learn how they got there. Don't get them twisted. Everybody ain't going to share their success stories with you. Everybody ain't going to want you to be where they are. Don't ask me why. I don't understand where the Haitian comes from. I say Haitian instead of just saying hater, but I don't know where the Haitian come from, but that's what they do. Me personally, if you're there or if I'm there, I want to see you with me because I don't want to support all our trips and our field trips when we go someplace. I don't want to have to pay for everything. Every time we go somewhere, I'm like, you ain't never got no money. Like, you don't make like seven dollars like, you don't want to raise, you don't want a better job, or nothing like, I keep him. I don't want to keep doing that, so I would rather have you where I'm at, or even past me. So, we can all call them like, hey, let's go here, let's go fly out of the country, let's do that, and everybody has it. That's what I'm talking about. I don't want to be just successful on my own. I want to see the whole clique successful. So, you want to get yourself to a place where you're growing and where you're successful at the same time, you bring people with you. You don't leave everybody there. You don't forget where they are or where they're going. You got to remember where you came from. It ain't about going back to the gutter. It's really how to bring people up out of the mud. Because some of y'all say y'all know how to get up out of the mud. Like y'all won't even go outside when it's raining. And, and you don't even know what wet grass looks like. So you can't slide here and say, I was getting out the mud. Like you've been privileged all your life. That's not mud. That, that's a silver spoon. But we're going to leave them alone. Again. Set up yourself a plan. Work on you. This time right now is for you. It's for you to be the best you, the greatest you, the most successful you you can ever be. You got to do something for you. I'm telling you, do it for yourself. If you don't do it for nobody, do it for you. I'm believing you wholeheartedly. just like I believe in myself. I'm trusting God to make things happen for you. But you have to believe in you first. I can believe in you with all my might. But if you don't believe in you, where do you go? Nowhere. How do you succeed? You won't because... You got to believe in you first. If you don't believe in your ideas and your passions and your ambitions, you won't accomplish them. So again, I'm telling y'all, quit holding back, quit slowing down, and don't let what someone else says about you defeat you. What you do is, like my cousin Shannon always says, he said, if I got two haters, I need two more. Why? Because that's going to motivate me. Because evidently, I'm doing something right. She said, 
the more you hate, the more I motivate. So I thank y'all for y'all Haitian because you keep pushing me up. You help me realize what I'm doing is right. Where I'm going is success. Where I'm going is to the mountaintop because I'm only getting there because I want to. But you help motivate and help me work harder than I would have worked on my own recognizance. I'm putting in effort on my time, on my effort. I'm planning everything out. I'm seeing where I'm going. People be mad because you want to jump up and do little stuff. You ain't even got to have a whole lot. But let them be mad. Keep doing you. And I'm telling you, bring up those who want to come with you. If they don't want to come, leave them where they at. Because, like I said, you hear the cliche, it's too many chief, too many Indians, you know what I'm saying? Too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Everybody ain't supposed to be a chief. Some of y'all actually just supposed to be like, hi, may I help you? I got fries today. That's some of y'all purpose. Y'all might not think so, but that's like, that's it. You cool right there. That's where you're supposed to be. Some of us are supposed to be on the mountaintop. Me, I feel like I'm the top of the totem pole. That's where I'm supposed to be. That's just my mindset. I don't I do not do failure. I do lessons. With that being said, listen. Get your copy of the book. It's going to help you help you. So at the end of the day, what? It must be me. What? It must be me. Ah, it must be me. Get your copy. Peace.